Hi, my name is the Unboxing Pro 294. Oh, sorry for that. What's up, everybody? This is a Boxing Pro 295. And I'm um I'm saying today, what are my favorite movies of 2016 since today is the last day of 2016. And if you do not know, by the time you're getting this video, I'm, you know, where this is from. Because uh, the Stitch Ride is closing, so I'd, and that's one of my favorite attractions there. So I'm just going to see it before it closes down at uh, Walt Disney World. So I'm going to be telling what were my favorite movies from 2016 and what movies I'm excited for next year. Okay, so here we go. Number five, Storks. Storks was awesome. I thought it was freaking hilarious. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but there's like a joke every second, and I love those kind of movies. Like, for example, the Lego movie. I love those kind of movies. Um, I remember the names. Uh, Diamond Destiny, that was her name. A uh, Pigeon Toady, um, Junior, and... Uh, uh, orphan Tulip or Tulip. So the plot of the story is that Junior wants to become boss and his boss hunter, you know, he's like retiring and all this stuff, but they have to get rid of Tulip, uh, this girl right here, because she was abducted by one of the storks and they stopped delivering packages. I mean, they stopped delivering babies and they started delivering packages, but then she get, uh, Tulip gets a letter from a boy named, uh, Nate, Nathan, he's not on the cover, um, and he, because he wants a baby brother with ninja skills because his parents are always overworking. So then he writes a letter to the storks and Tulip gets it. She puts in the wrong um they, she puts it in the wrong machine and of course Junior gets us stuck and they get stuck with um the baby. So they have to deliver her before, you know, anybody else finds out. Of course Pigeon Tony Pigeon Tony. Pigeon Tony is in there. The wolves are in there. And I can't think of... Oh, the the penguins are in there, and the movie is just hilarious. So, this is my number five for this year. Okay? Oh, snap. Wait, hold on. Did I forget something? I thought I did. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Um, hold on. Oh, no. The wrong blue ray. Number four is Captain America Civil War. I love this movie this year. I saw it when it first came out, and I thought it was amazing. I knew Spider-Man was in it, but I didn't know what he was going to do, and the stuff he was saying was hilarious. I love this movie because it's one of my it's my favorite Marvel movie because you get to see all your favorite superheroes. Uh, oh, my God. I can't think today. Uh, you get to see all your favorite superheroes. Wait. Oh I'm sorry, guys. I can't stop, like... Okay. Let me start over. <laughs> this was number eight. This was number seven. And so, yeah. And then, like, you get to see all your favorite Marvel um, superheroes in, together in one film, and it's just amazing. Now, number, uh, number five. I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> Number five is Sing. Sing was awesome. I just thought it was freaking funny. I saw it on the second day it came out because, of course, I had school during that time, and I saw the I uh, I saw the premiere and I thought it was awesome. So I'll give that a thumbs up. I don't really know how to explain it. Let's just say that uh, the koala, uh, Buster Moon, he runs out of money from uh, his theater. Then he has to do a singing competition. Then everything gets mixed up and all that stuff. Um. Yeah, and number five, Moana. Moana was awesome. I, I loved it. It's my favorite Disney movie now. Besides Pixar, I just thought it was number... I just thought it was awesome. Oh, man. Wait, hold on. Scratch that. Trolls. Wait, no. Yeah, Trolls was in it. So, yeah, I, I, I didn't expect anything from Trolls, but then I actually liked it. So then number four, I said Moana. Moana is about a girl who she's about to become a chief, and her grandmother dies. Yes, that's a spoiler. You're welcome. Ha, 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 ha. Pun intended. So she has to sail across the sea to find this heart. I don't know. And then she comes Maui. Then Tamatoa, my favorite Disney villain in history. I thought he was awesome in the movie. I just loved him. Okay, and then number four. Man. Everybody give me a thumbs up for being such a klutz. Number four is um, Kubo. 
Kubo was awesome. I loved it so much that I'm so excited that I actually have this Blu-ray. It's my favorite stop motion movie ever. And I don't really know how to explain it. Let's just say that um, Kubo's father, I'm spoiling again, spoiler alert, Kubo's father is Beetle and Kubo's mom is um, Monkey. Number three, or should I say number two? I keep mixing up my numbers. I'm sorry I keep mixing up my numbers. Forget it. Man, I just... I, this is a fail. Number two. Yes, I'm sorry. All the numbers... It was number seven. And, what is with me today? Like, seriously. Number two, Finding Dory. Finding Dory was awesome. I think it's um, one of my favorite Pixar movies. Of course, my favorite Pixar movie is Ratatouille. Let's see what else. Wally. Wait, Ratatouille, Wally, Up, Toy Story 2, and now it's Finding Dory. So that's a good completion to that. Um, it used to be uh, Monsters, Inc., but I stopped watching that now. Sorry for all my Mike Sitch Forever fans. I don't really like, you know, like Monsters, Inc. no more. I still like Stitch. I, I, mean, I mean, still. So basically, you already know. Everybody probably saw this. Dory fi finds out she has parents, so they have to go all the way to the Jewel of Morro Bay, California, where they meet Hank, Bailey, uh, Destiny, and a whole bunch of fish. And then Merlin and Nemo are barely in this. Oh, if you have seen the movie but you have not stayed to the end, wait till the end. It has the best reference ever to Finding Nemo. All the tank gang is in there. Just wait. If you if you have it but you haven't seen the end of it, watch it right now. Just click off this video and watch it, then come back here. Do you? Okay. Now, number one, Deadpool. Yes. Deadpool is my favorite movie, and it's... Actually, the first rated R movie I ever watched, I did try to watch, uh, you know, Sausage Party, but that didn't end well. So, yeah, I like this movie. It's a revenge story, a love story. I already saw what's coming. It's just, I saw it because Deadpool's my favorite Marvel character. Well, he's my favorite um, anti-hero. And I was just so excited when they finally announced this movie. I knew Deadpool before before the trailer came out. I knew him before any of this. I knew him since I was like what, like five, because of my cousin, and he showed me he showed me a lot of stuff of Deadpool, and then that's when I found out about him. So yeah, it's basically a revenge and love story, and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, there you go, Deadpool. Okay, that's the end of my favorite um, movies this year. But now I'm telling what were my what are my most favorite movies. I can't wait to see next year. Okay, uh, it's a list. Number five, uh, this one is Despicable Me 3. I don't know what to expect from it. I'm just going to watch it anyways, anyways, because I don't know. I've been watching all the Despicable Me movies in the theater. Whoa, I lost. So number four is Cars 3. I'm going to see Cars 3 because that's part of my childhood, you know. Um, wait, that's number... Number four, wait. Yeah, okay. Number three. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I am so excited for that. I cannot wait for it. It's one of it's one of my favorite Marvel movies. It's actually like the fifth one I've seen. But yeah, that's the movie I'm so excited for. I'm so excited for it to come out. Number two. Spider-Man Homecoming. Spider-Man Homecoming. I can't believe it. Sony actually made an agreement to Marvel Entertainment, and now Spider-Man is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yes. Now we just need uh, X-Men and uh, Fantastic Four, but nobody cares about the 2015. I've only seen that once anyways. So, yeah, I'm super excited that he's actually joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And thank you, Sony, for making the agreement. And one of my friends, Mega, Re Mega Reaper, uh, said why he hates Sony. I hate Sony and like just the company But now that they like made an agreement. I'm happy I just I don't really watch their movies besides Ghostbusters and all that stuff and my number one Star Wars episode 8. I cannot wait for that, but I'm gonna be crying during it like with me and creepy press Because if you do not know Carrie Fisher just died uh, Friday, I think 
and I've been sad. I've been watching all the Star Wars movies and remembering her. She was always been our Princess Leia. And yeah, and I'm super excited that they're going to continue the adventures with uh, Ray and Finn. And I'm just... <laughs> okay, that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, be, uh, expect some Disney, Disney World videos. Um, and I'll see you guys later in the future. I told you my favorite movies from 2016 and uh, what I'm waiting for 2017. So, yeah, guys. Bye.